manuscript. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Make sure after that manuscript you turn around and go up here because there's a hidden treasure chest in this shed. Ooh, I got some ammo. Cool, and here's the treasure chest. Three flares and batteries, but I'm full on batteries, so whatever. What the hell do these guys want? Whoa! Ah, oh, come on. Dodge that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so moving on. And as you heard, Alice called me, but not really sure that was her. Could have been her, but I'm not sure. Could have been the Dark Presence just messing with me. Who knows? I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Yellow graffiti that says follow. Follow your nose, that's what I'm going to do. I sure hope that manuscript page wasn't true. I don't want to see any possessed objects. I doubt that will happen. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Okay, so I'm wrong. Possessed objects. You gotta be careful in this part because you can die pretty easily if you're not careful. These objects do a lot of damage when they hit you. So if you need to refill your battery a lot, go ahead and do it. It's better to refill your battery than dying. Oh! That was close. Is it over? Of course not. What was I thinking? Oh god. Possess wheel bell. <laughs> okay, now it's over. And I'm gonna let you guys know something. Over here is where you'd find the nightmare manuscript, the first one. On this like tree stump right here. So let me go ahead and pull it out. Even after all this time, hearing the Night Springs theme caused a surge of conflicting emotions in me. It had been my first real writing gig. Barry had known a guy who knew a guy, and suddenly I'd been a semi-regular writer on the show. I'd always been ashamed of the job. Felt it was trash. I had wanted to be an artist, a novelist. I'd been naive back then. It had taken a long time to learn to be proud of the work. Yeah, so before Alan Wake became a author, he was a writer on that show Night Springs that you saw me uh, whenever I turn on the TVs to show Night Springs. He used to be a writer on that show in the game. And here's another manuscript. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The Dark Presence was inside the lodge with me. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. 
The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. So as you saw, I got an upgrade to my flashlight. It's a bigger flashlight that has uh can last longer. So that's good. So anytime you get a chance to uh, change your flashlight, make sure you do it. Guys are right on time. Whoa! Oh, bastard. Flare. Ah. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Ah, oh, I tried. Ah, my god. Try to shoot that barrel. Those red barrels you can shoot and, uh, they explode in a flash of light and kill them. If they're near it, of course. Oh, how dare you, sir. Oh! Oh, oh what? What? He hit me. Bull crap. I call bull crap. I think he was in the animation of a swing. And then I put my flare up and he put his arms up, but the animation still got me. That was bullshit. I want to Madden challenge that. Okay, so I got some flares, some ammo. But I'm full on batteries. And here's a TV. So don't forget that. And outside this door is a manuscript. Right here. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Oh, what? That hurt me? That's bullcrap. Well, I'll kind of take that. Maybe in real life that would actually probably hurt. Oh god, it's a Samoan bulldozer. Oh my god. No? You get the reference? Alright. Alright, so to defeat this bulldozer is pretty easy. Light some flares, because there's enemies around, and throw any flashbangs that you got. And shine your light on it, and you'll kill it quickly. Hopefully you got some flashbangs, because that'll kill the bulldozer quickly. As you saw me do. And on uh, nightmare mode, you'll probably run out of flashbangs, so just keep on throwing down flares next to it and shining your light on them, on it. And that's it. It's pretty easy. And there's like three emergency boxes. One right there. There's another emergency box over here. That They all contain three flares, so you get a total of nine flares that you can get. Some flares in here. And batteries, too. You're running out of batteries and one more emergency box over here so fighting the bulldozer shouldn't be that hard just don't get hit because it does do a ton of damage and time to get out of here glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine.
The coal mine wasn't far now. 